Martin Vasquez, Ramiro Borja will be out there. You've got uh, Greg Willen at one defensive position. And also out there for Memphis, Tony Pesnecker, number 16. And Sean Pendleton. Pesnecker will actually play midfield. Willen and Pendleton will be your two defenders. A little bit of a switch in lines with Borja out there with Vasquez because uh, Vasquez had been playing with Oscar Albuquerque earlier in the year. We're ready to get it underway. Memphis, the visiting team in the blue and orange with white numerals, orange trim. Canton in the home gray, black shorts, black numerals, red and black trim. Greg Willen with the ball left side at midfield for Memphis. Back at the storm red line, ball knocked away by Pisano. Put it up in the air to Rudy. Heads it forward for Kia. Kia didn't get all the shot and it's controlled by Dak Nuski. Pretty good defense by Pendleton. Midfield on the right side is Vasquez. Vosmeyer with him step for step. Pokes it down. Give and go feet off the foot of Borja. Deflected by Pisano and taken by Vosmeyer. Memphis backing up. They'll put three guys at the Canton red line. The feet on the right side comes to Pisano. Oscar moves back in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. We've played almost 40 seconds here in the first period. Swanner will come out of the box with it. Vosmeyer clears to the right at midfield. Jamie across the red line, sends it forward into the Memphis defensive zone, off the sideboards for Rudy Pekosinski. Willen deflects, and Vasquez knocks it off the sideboards, coming up the right side of the field, Borja, Pisano, Borja with a shot, no, high and wide to the right. Pesnecker keeps it in the defensive zone. Willen is double teamed, Kia with a deflection, and Tima clears it out on the right side. Kia backs the ball away from Tony Pesnecker, good feed by Kia, left side of the midfield circle is Pisano. Back to Kia, up the left side of the floor in the Memphis zone. Back to the net out of a double team. Kia taken down on the trip. And that's the first team foul of the period. It goes against Martin Vasquez of Memphis. Remember, 16 fouls in one quarter adds up to a two-minute penalty. Vosmeyer centers for Rudy. It's a little bit to his right. The ball knocked away by Willen. Here comes Vasquez up the left side. 
Lead ball is too far for Borja. Swanner taps it ahead for Pisano. Pisano with a spin move to get around Vasquez up the right side at midfield. Oscar cuts it through the circle. He's got Kia to his left. Kia winds, fires, ball knocked away from Lescarelli. Good defensive play by Pesnecker. And you got a foul on Lesh on the push, and the team fouls are even at one apiece. 13-20 to play, period one. Daknuski with the ball in the Memphis goal. And out on the right side, it comes to Pendleton. Now Tony Carbignani into the game for the first time for Memphis. I head to Oscar Albuquerque. Albuquerque, Tony Johnson sweeps it on the right side. Juan Yepes with a weak shot that Swanner controls pretty easily. Jamie outlet straight ahead midfield. Schlothauer couldn't get it. Scarelli trying to get around Carbignani. And Lesh has to back it up to the midfield circle, and Mike Paxos has it there. Now Tom Kondrich at the Canton red line. Leap ball left side for Randy Pikasinski. Randy, whose brother Rudy, plays on the other line. Now back out on the left point, Slothauer. Right side, Kondrich on the run in the corner with Yepes. Yepes pokes the ball away. Bad pass intercepted by Scarelli. Lesh for Randy. Randy turns, leaves it for Kondrich, and he puts it high off the glass and wide to the right. Carbignani controls the rebound, taps it in the goal box. Long lead ball for Johnson, deflected away by Mike Paxos. Paxi across the red line, looks to the middle. He fires in the save by Dachniewski. Yarrow outlet, right side midfield for Tony Johnson. Johnson working on Kondrich. Kondrich picked his pocket. Here we come the other way. Kondrich, red line, moves up, stops, pins it up against the boards. Johnson takes him down, and that's the second foul against Memphis. And Tony Johnson was lucky he didn't get two minutes for that one. He took Tomo down pretty hard with a rather wicked-looking leg whip from behind. That could have been a two-minute foul there. As it is, it's the second foul on Memphis. Paxos has the ball blocked out of play by Albuquerque. Invaders will put it in play. Touchline right side from their own red line with 12.05 to play in the first period. No score here at the Civic Center. Mike Paxos sends it up. Left side at the Memphis red line to Randy Pikasinski. Drops it back to Schlotthauer. Walter forward for Scarelli. Lesh back to the net on the left side against Yepes. Back outside to Randy, and Randy had the ball taken away. Juan Yepes up the right side of the floor for Memphis. He cannot outrun Pikasinski. Middle of the floor. Randy with a steal. Took it away from Albuquerque. Backs it up to Schlotthauer. Walter with a big brace on the left knee. He's worn that since coming off the disabled list right after the All-Star game. 11.35 to play in the first quarter. We're scoreless. Schlotthauer dishes back in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. Swanner will come out with it. Johnson to confront him. Jamie sends it airborne left side of the field off the boards. Rudy Pikasinski back to Pisano. Oscar heads it away. And Carbignani is called for the third foul on Memphis as he got the push off on Pisano. Three fouls on the Storm. And they're getting in foul trouble early with 11.20 to play. They have only two to give before they draw the two-minute penalty. One foul on the Invaders. Pisano to put it in play. Touchline left side at midfield. Hope we get a bigger crowd on Friday night. Willen steps off the bench from Memphis. So does Pendleton. And there's some question as to whether they're... Now they're going to change the whole line now. It's Kia, Rudy Pikasinski, Bob Bosmeyer, Tim Tima, and Oscar Pisano for Canton. Ramiro Borja... Martin Vasquez, Tony Pesnecker, Greg Willen, and Sean Pendleton for Memphis. Tim Tima with it, right side at midfield. Tima will be our halftime guest. Kia just got plowed under by Willen at the other end, and nobody saw it. And a three-line violation is called against the Invaders. Memphis will put it in play from the Canton red line. And the lead ball by Vasquez. Borja couldn't quite get it before Swanner snared it and held on. We've played four minutes in period one. Pisano with a long lead for Rudy. It's out of play into the crowd on the right side. And Memphis will put it in play in their own zone. Touchline left. 10.57 on the clock in the first period. Game two here Friday night. 8.05 kickoff time. Canton came in 31-11 and 11 in the regular season. Memphis 24-18. and 18. Pesnecker with the ball. Middle of the floor. Out to the red line. Around Vosmeyer, ahead to Willen. Willen shot wide, rebound, knocked away by Tima. Vasquez was set up out front, but Timmy swept it in the corner for Pisano. Vasquez, it could have been a handball, now Pendleton right side, shot blocked by Pisano, and it bounces all the way back to the Memphis red line. Pesnecker flags it down there. 
And this is uh, Borja, left side. Now Willen in the Canton zone. His shot, no. Rebound comes out behind Borja. Vosmeyer cannot control, however. Pendleton does for Memphis. Back edge of the midfield circle. Pesnecker, double team. Kiet deflects to Vosmeyer on the break. Vosmeyer, oh, he hit the crossbar. He had Dokniewski beaten, got it just a little bit too high. Here comes Willen the other way. Willen feeds right side Vasquez. He winds and Swatter with a good save. Morhoff almost took a late kick. Here comes the other way, Kia. Kia tries to center once. It's blocked. Sliding play by Pesnecker to clear the ball ahead. And it's Ramiro Borja. I check that Vasquez with it. Vasquez knocks it away from Tima. Now Pendleton. Now Tony Wicker in for the first time for Memphis. Back in the goal box, Doc Newski sends it away from Kia. And that one is caught by a fan in the second row in section 6 to 15. And it'll be the Invaders ball at midfield. Tom Condrich to trigger it in. As Canton will change lines, it'll be Condrich at midfield. Randy Pikasinski and Lesh Gorelli, the forwards. Mike Paxos and Walt Schlothauer on defense. For Memphis, Tony Johnson, Oscar Albuquerque up front with Carbignani, the midfielder, and the defenders are Yepes and Wicker. Paxos sends it ahead. Johnson couldn't control. Yepes heads it out. Back in by Schlothauer. Scarelli trying to get inside Yepes, and the ball scorched in the goal box and is controlled by Dachniewski. Outlet, Tony Carbignani. Arbit Carbignani ahead midfield and the right side of the Canton zone for Johnson. Johnson working back to the net on Schlotthauer. And Walter will get the trip call, and that's the second foul on the Invaders. Three on Memphis in the period with 9.23 to go. Interesting matchup there. Schlotthauer and Johnson used to be teammates in Columbus. Now playing against one another. Oscar Albuquerque to put the ball in play for the Memphis Storm. Now he'll walk away, and Yepes will put it in. Tried to get it to Albuquerque once, twice. Rebound controlled by Swanner. Long lead up the floor. Randy Pikasinski, and he couldn't quite get to it. Wicker was back, and Dachniewski fires the outlet. Tony Johnson at midfield. Ball poked away by Condrich. Scarelli couldn't get it. Here comes Wicker. Knocked away again by Condrich. And it'll be finally controlled in the Canton zone by Paxos, who taps it back to Jamie Swanner. Nine minutes to play first period. Still no score at the Civic Center. Outlet, left side, Canton, red line to Schlothauer, working against Albuquerque, back to Swanner. His lead ball intercepted by Wicker, ahead to Albuquerque. Albuquerque feeds, the pass is blocked by Paxos. Albuquerque chases it down on the right side. Scarelli fronts him out on the red line to Carbignani. Carbignani with Kondrich on him, and the ball is blocked out of play by Randy Pikasinski. Memphis will put it in, touch line right, with 8.36 to go in the period. A lot of action. No real serious scoring threats. The one that hit the post that Bosmeyer had was the best scoring opportunity for Canton. Albuquerque had a couple of rebounds, but nothing real serious for Memphis. Centering ball, Schlothauer knocked it away. Albuquerque hit the crossbar straight up in the air. Bounces behind Randy Pikasinski. Now he heads it over to Condrich, who taps it back to Paxos. Lead ball, Scarelli in a race with Yepes. Yepes heads it in the goal box, and Dachniewski grabs it and holds on. Outlet, Juan Yepes, middle of the floor, ball knocked away from Albuquerque, off the chest of Schlothauer, ahead for Randy. Randy gets inside at man, and a foul against Carbignani. That's the fourth one on Memphis, so they have only one more to give and a lot of time to go in the quarter, 8-14. Six fouls would be the two-minute penalty. Schlothauer shot blocked by Carbignani. Albuquerque tries to clear to midfield, and he does. Here comes Memphis, ahead to Tony Johnson, and he didn't get anything on that shot. Swanner able to punch it into the corner. Paxos clears ahead to Walt Schlothauer. Thunderfoot out across the red line. Backs it away from Carbignani. And in the goal box it comes to Swanner. Under eight minutes, 7.49 to play in the first period. Lead ball, Randy Pikasinski heads it back. Condrich ahead for Scarelli. Hantak hasn't played yet for Memphis. Maybe he's still not healthy. Scarelli with a shot and a good save by Dachniewski. Lesh got it again and that one was blocked by Yepes. Now Kelly and Condridge fight for it. Now Randy with a shot. That's blocked. And Paxos dumps it back in. It's cleared out by Carbignani. Kelly tries to dump it in the invader zone. Does. But Swanner is there to control. Outlet right side midfield. Scarelli as we go end to end. Scarelli right edge of the midfield circle. Invaders on the line change. Pisano steps off the bench. Feeds it ahead to Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski picked up by Boros. Susevitz, he shoots, he scores! Dachniewski was screened on the play. 
Susevich was in the way, but if you're going to do that, you better block the shot because the goalkeeper can't see it coming. The Invaders lead 1-0. Rudy Pikasinski with a goal. The time of the goal, 7.52. Kaczynski picks up the goal. Oscar Pizzano will get the assist. Time of the goal, 7.52 into the period, and the Invaders lead 1-0. Boro Susevich, another former Columbus player. Kelly, bad pass taken away by Tima. Here we come the other way. Tima, long lead for Kia. That's a three-line violation. Hand tack is in for the first time for Memphis. He missed the entire Tampa Bay series with a badly bruised left foot. And this is his first shift of the night for the Storm. Susevich, Canton red line, feeds left side on the point to Willen. Down in the corner, Kelly working back to the net on Pisano, through the box, and Hantak will be called for pushing off on Tima. That's the fifth foul. One more puts Memphis in the man down situation. A lot of time, 6.48 to play in the period. Hantak came plowing in there as he is wont to do. And he is not real popular among goalkeepers in the league for just that reason. Last time they played in Memphis, he gave Swanner a pretty swift kick in the back of the head with about five seconds left in the game. Here is Pikasinski in the Memphis zone out of a double team. Back in the left point to Bobby Vosmeyer. Midfield circle to Pisano. Kelly out on him. Oscar put that one in the crowd. He wanted Rudy on the right side and put it over the glass and out of play. 6.21 to go in the first period. 1-0 Canton on the goal by Rudy Pikasinski. The assist by Oscar Pisano at 7.52 of the first period. Greg Willen, one of two Memphis players on the All-Star team. Carbignani was the other one. Taps it in the goal box. Dokniewski, then Pendleton, now Dokniewski. Long lead midfield, intercepted by Timu, who knocked it away from Hantak. Rudy Pikasinski had the ball knocked away from behind by Ted Hantak. Clears it ahead to Kelly. Kelly to Willen. Willen's got a problem along the boards, and Pisano's going to get whistled for the handball. And that is foul number three on the Invaders. Five on Memphis, exactly six minutes to play in the first period. Willen taps it back to Boro Susevich. They've got a lot of former Columbus players on this team. Susevich, Pendleton, Tony Johnson used to play for Columbus. Lead ball, Dokniewski. Hantak got a hit on it ahead to Kelly. That hit him in the hand, no call. Kelly centers, ball knocked away by Kia. Hantak got it back, heels to Will, and he shoots. That's blocked by Pisano on a beautiful play. Here come the invaders in the counter. Two on one if they hurry. Vosmeyer leads Rudy just a bit too much in the left side. Rudy trying to get inside, does. Ball knocked away by Susevich and controlled by Dakniewski. Yarrow wanted the long outlet. It wasn't there. He feeds it out short on the right side. Susevich, I don't know who he was passing that to. Pisano waits for it at the red line. 5.17 to play in the first quarter. The invaders lead one to nothing. Tim Tima, right edge of the goal box in the Canton zone. Kelly watching him from a distance. Swanner now still in the goal box. Now Jamie will come out with it. Once he steps outside, the keeper cannot pick it up with his hands. When he's in the box, the hands are fair game. And Jamie just sent it over three lines, so we'll go back to the Canton red line. 4.59 to play in the first quarter. Kia, Rudy Pikasinski, Vosmeyer, Tima, and Pisano for Canton. Hantak, Kelly, Carbignani, Pendleton, and Willen are the five men on the floor for Memphis. Willen will be the trigger man. Puts it in the air and over the glass and out of play. Hantak couldn't get to that, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar probably wouldn't have gotten to it either. Over the glass and out of play into the stage. Goal kick invaders. Canton leads one to nothing. Remember, they are undefeated at home in playoff history. 8-0 over the first two years in this building in the playoffs. They have not been easy to beat here at the Civic Center. All-time record in this building is 42-7. And, and that's not too shabby. Swanner with the ball in the goal box. Jamie steps outside. Johnson to confront him. Left side, Schlotthauer taps it ahead. And here comes Mike Paxos. Paxos winds, fires. Good save by Dokniewski. Just did get the left hand on the ball. Paxos cuts it to the left side of the floor, and Schlotthauer waits for it there. Walter takes it off his chest. Albuquerque with good defensive pressure, and Walter clears it back to Swanner. 
Jamie's going to have trouble with Albuquerque. He sends it long. It's headed to the left side by Carbignani. Randy Pikasinski beats Yepes to the ball. Slot hour ahead. And Randy Pikasinski off the feed by Scarelli. Yepes takes him down. And we come the other way. Albuquerque, but he couldn't get the position on the board. Schlothauer able to pin it away. And it's dropped back in the Canton end. Goal box to Swanner. Jamie, long lead. And off of the head of Condrich. Back to, it comes to Schirelli. Lesh working on Yepes. Right side at the red line. He winds. He fires. There's a save by uh, Daknuski. And Carbignani kept the rebound in play. Oh, my heavens. Albuquerque thought he was going to do some business. And Schlothauer picked his pocket. Knocked the ball away from the red line into the waiting hands of Jamie Swanner. Long lead for Randy Pikasinski. Working on Wicker. Schlothauer ahead for Scarelli. Back to Condridge. Four on three if they hurry. Paxos with a shot. No. Rebound Scarelli to Paxos. He shoots. No. And the rebound is controlled by Daknuski. Yarrow has been kept busy in this first period. I don't know what the shots on goal are going to be, but I got to think they're going to be fairly lopsided at this point. Johnson had the ball knocked away by Paxos. Paxi clears it ahead. It bounced off Scarelli. Yepes has it at midfield for Memphis. And ahead it comes Albuquerque off the sideboards. He didn't find Wicker. Condridge clears out for Canton. Yepes gets it back for Memphis at the red line. And in their own goal box, it goes to Daknuski. Yarrow lost the ball to Randy. Randy to Scarelli. It's knocked away by Daknuski. Here comes Paxos. Paxos winds, fires, no. Rebound headed away. Carbignani will try to clear it out of the corner. And he will be backed up by Scarelli. And now across the goal box, it comes to Wicker. 2.43 to play in the first quarter. 1-0 Invaders. Outlet midfield. Albuquerque was going off on the bench. And here comes Condridge. Condridge winds, fires. Ball blocked. Good play by Wicker. Condridge centers. Randy heads it in the cheap seats. It'll be a goal kick for Memphis. <laughs> Daknuski has dodged a bullet a couple of times. He mishandled the one ball that Randy got. And Randy, being unselfish, tried to pass it over to Lesh. Daknuski made a good play to hustle out and slide out and tap that away. If Randy had tried to make a move to the right, Daknuski, I think, might have been helpless on the play. Two and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. Sean Pendleton with the ball for Memphis. Back in the goal box, it comes to Daknuski. Yarrow picks it up. Long lead. I don't know who he was throwing that one to either. There's nobody there for Memphis. Pisano dumps it in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. Swanner, long lead for Kia. Kia working on Pendleton. Dumps it back for Vossmeyer. Remember Memphis playing with five fouls. Let's see if Canton can draw that sixth one. Vossmeyer, his lead is over the glass and out of play. He wanted Rudy in the right corner. But he sends it over into section 12, and it'll be a kick in for Memphis. With two minutes and eight seconds to play in period number one, the Invaders lead one to nothing. Ernie Pikasinski, the goal for Canton. Oscar Pisano, the assist at 7.52 of the first period. Long lead. Vossmeyer's going to get there ahead of Borja. And Kia clears it ahead. Rudy Pikasinski in a race with Willen. And Willen gets in the corner first. Comes outside. Tima there to help out. Ball hit the referee. That allowed Tima to control. Timmy trying to get out of a double team. He's taken down. Here's Rudy to Kia. Here comes Vossmeyer. He shoots. Oh, and what a play by Dakniewski. This could be four to nothing or five to nothing real easy right now. But Dagnuski has come up with a couple of gems. That one he just deflected over the glass and out. Unofficially, we've got Canton with nine shots, Memphis with six. Corner kick from the right side for the Invaders. Outside of Tima, he fires. That one's blocked by Willen. And that should be a three-line violation, and it is, as it sails all the way back into the Canton zone. Minute 38 to go in the period. Tima will trigger it in from the red line. Timmy over to Pikasinski. Rudy back to the net. Left corner, double team. Knocks it away from Borja. Pisano tried to get it to Kia, but it was knocked away there by Pendleton. And now Pisano fights for it, but out of the double team. Pesnecker clears. That one's in the crowd right underneath us. And the Invaders will put it in play again. Left side, just outside the Memphis red line. One minute and 25 seconds to play. In the first quarter, the Invaders enjoying a one to nothing advantage. Timmy Tima, he'll be our guest at halftime tonight. And he will put the ball in play. Referee having a chat with Memphis coach Terry Nickel about something over there. Tima has not put it in play yet. They're 
Referee now goes back over to the guy in the box at the scores table. Minute 25 in the period, and now Tiemann to put it in play for Canton. Timmy up the left side in the corner for Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy trying to get inside Pendleton, centers, but the ball is scooped up by Dachniewski. Long lead, Borja off his heel. It hits the glass, stays in play. Tima controls for Canton. Tima trying to get around Vasquez. He's forced back inside his own zone, but able to find Kia at midfield. Kia is hammered by Willen, and that is not the sixth foul because they're going to give him two on the penalty. That's a big call because the, the blue card does not count toward the sixth foul. If they commit the sixth foul now, they go two men down. Willen, Willen led the league in penalty minutes during the regular season. So he's accustomed to the spot where he's having a seat right now, and he is uh, discussing some of the finer points of soccer officiating with one of the officials. He's going to get the elbow call. Boarding call is the call on Willen. The time of the penalty is 13.56 of the first period. So the invaders will go on the power play. During the regular season, Canton 42% on the power play, 53 of 127. Here's Schlotthauer through to Kia. He hit the crossbar. Now Schlotthauer back out to midfield. It's over the head of Vossmeyer. He's got to chase it down at the red line. Memphis regular season, 73% penalty killing. They gave up 34 goals in 124 attempts. 75% in the playoff series with Tampa Bay. Two goals in eight tries for the Rowdies. 38 seconds in the period. Vossmeyer leaves it for Pisano. Oscar in the corner. Kia. Kia right side. Out front it comes to Vossmeyer. 31 seconds in the period. A minute 26 in the penalty. And Pisano's shot is blocked. And knocked down in the corner. Pesnecker dumps it straight up in the air. And Dachniewski goes up and hauls it down. 17 seconds. He threw the lead. Susevich had broken the wrong way. 12 seconds. Pisano with a shot that's wide. Rebound all the way out to midfield, and it bounces into the Memphis bench. So with seven seconds left in the period and a minute four in the penalty, Memphis will probably run the period out, and then the Invaders will have about 50, 57 seconds or so of power play to start the second period. Pesnecker sends it long. Oh, and that was a mistake. He didn't keep it in play, so Canton will have five seconds to work with as he knocked it out of play with five seconds in the period. They're in the wrong end of the field, though. Vossmeyer from his own end. Ahead to Kia, four seconds, three. Kia around one, around two. The period ends before he can get the shot off. And after the first 15 minutes, our score, the Canton Invaders won. And the Memphis Storm, nothing. Back in the moment. Participating sponsor of these Invader games, including co sponsorship WHBC radio broadcast. When you play lottery, all Ohio wins because lottery profits support the many needs of Ohio's elementary and secondary schools. So if you're 18 years of age or older, we invite you to play the lottery. The lotto, the daily number, pick four, and draw instant games. Thousands have won millions. You could be the next big winner, too. We switch ends in the second quarter. Swanner's in the goal to our left. Dachniewski is in the goal to our right. If you're familiar with the Civic Center, the goal to our right is at the stage end. And the Invaders will control the kickoff, so they will get the benefit of the full 56 seconds of the power play. Walt Schlotthauer has been red hot on the power play the last uh, seven games. We'll see... Uh, if they try to feed Walter on that patented play up the left side. Here comes Vossmeyer through the midfield circle, underway in period two. Bobby V, right side, Pisano off the boards. Oscar gets inside one, centering ball in front of Rudy, and Pendleton clears it out. Swanner will come out of the goal box to tap that forward to Vossmeyer. 35 seconds left in the penalty. Vossmeyer through the midfield circle. Rudy is posted up out front. Kia on the right corner. Key has got the ball now on the right point to Pisano. Schlotthauer's on the left point. Rudy feeds. Ball knocked away by Pendleton, and he clears it out to midfield again. That'll chew up some time, but not as much as Memphis would like as it bounces out of play. Only 15 seconds left in the penalty, though. The Invaders will have time for one more rush. Swanner will allow him to get a man up the field a little quicker on the attack by putting the ball in play. The goalkeeper, Swanner, taps it ahead to Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer across the red line. 
looks, feeds right side, Pisano, he fires, that's blocked by Beck, and that'll take care of the penalty. Four seconds left, and it comes all the way back to the Canton red line. The penalty has now expired as Swanner clears it forward, and now it's Vossmeyer at midfield. Tima's off the bench. And the regular line now of Tima, Vossmeyer, Pisano, Kia, and Rudy on the field. Swanner clears it ahead. Rudy heads it into the Memphis end. And Beck, back, oh, he knocked it right to Kia, who scored. Beck tried to get cute and hit it to the goalkeeper. He didn't know Kia was there. It landed right at Kia's feet. He said, thank you very much, and popped it in the left corner, and the Invaders lead two to nothing. Kia will get the goal. You can't give Beck an assist because he plays for the wrong team. So I imagine it will be unassisted. The time of the goal, 114 of the second period. Kia had 34 goals in the regular season. And did they give an assist on that? Pekosinski will get an assist. Okay. Now we come the other way. Off the kickoff, Tima takes it away. Timmy trying to get around Carbignani does. Ahead to Pisano. Pisano to Pekosinski. Rudy's got two points already tonight with a goal and an assist. And the Invaders own a 2 to nothing lead. The second goal was kind of given to them on a silver platter. Memphis in the counterattack, hand tack to Carbignani. And he backs it up to Yepes. Yepes fires, it's wide, comes out to Tima. And the Invaders clear it out. Here comes Kia. Kia gets away from Kelly. Left side at midfield to Pikasinski. Rudy P, left edge of the midfield circle. Back at the red line to Tima. And now it's Pisano. 12.53 to play in the first half. The Invaders lead two to nothing. Pisano, right side, midfield is Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer ahead to Rudy. Rudy with a move around Yepes, but the ball knocked away by the second defender, Kelly. Tima controls ahead. Here's Pisano. Now Vosmeyer for Canton. Invaders continue to put offensive pressure on Hantak with a deflection. And Kelly knocked it away, but couldn't control as Tima took it back. It's hit in the hand by Hantak. No, ah, they do call it. That's the first foul on Memphis. Tima's pass is intercepted by Carbignani. Here we come the other way. Ahead up the left side to Kelly. Kelly working on Pisano, and he couldn't get much in the shot because Oscar had good defensive position. Swanner clears it out to Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski around Willen. Oh, and a good play by Dachniewski to clear it away. Up the left side of the floor comes Carbignani. Tony Carbignani for Memphis. Picked up inside the red line by Tima. Bosmeyer over to double team up against the boards. And he's taken down by Tima. And that's going to be the first foul of the period on the Invaders. The team fouls even at one apiece. Carbignani and Tima exchange pleasantries, and they're not talking about where the best place for pizza is in town. Carbignani will put it in play. Ball blocked by Vosmeyer, controlled by Kia. Kia trying to get away from Kelly, does. Ahead to Vosmeyer, knocked away from him by Willen, but Kia's there to help out. And Rudy Pikasinski ahead to Vosmeyer. Here they come two on one if they hurry. Vosmeyer had to back away from Yepes, however. And Vosmeyer didn't get the ball far enough to Rudy, and Yepes comes the other way for Memphis. Up the right side to Hantek. Hantek, who might be the rookie of the year, feeds left side to Kelly. Kelly winds, fires, there's Slaughter with a save. And here comes Tim Tima. Tima had the ball poked away by Hantek, but Timmy got it back. And ahead it comes to Rudy Pikasinski, trying to get inside Willen. Ball knocked away, but Dagniewski knocked it to Kia. And now Pikasinski back to Kia. Give and go. You're going to have a foul on Willen as he pushed off on Pikasinski while Rudy was making the pass. Two team fouls on Memphis, one on Canton. 11-20 to play in the first half, and the Invaders lead 2-0. Tima outside to Pisano. Pisano, couple of steps, now to the left, and back out at midfield to Condrich. Invaders in the process of changing lines. Tomo, shot blocked in the corner by Borja, and Yepes comes away with it for Memphis. Yepes knocks it around to Kelly, and now it's Pesnecker in the midfield circle. Pesnecker, lead ball for Yepes. Condrich gets there first. Tomo tried to clear it to the left side, and it went over the glass and out of play. That'll allow both teams to complete line changes. 10.59 to play in the first half. Invaders lead 2-0 on goals by Rudy Pikusinski in the first quarter and Kia in the second quarter. Pesnecker will put the ball in play for Memphis, the left side in the Canton defensive zone. Randy Pikusinski, Scarelli, Kondrich, Schlotthauer, and Paxos for Canton. And the centering ball is knocked away by Schlotthauer. 
And there's a push on Pendleton as he got a piece of Schirelli who was going up for the header and that is foul number three on Memphis. Borja, Pesnecker, Vasquez, Pendleton and Willen are the five men on the floor for Memphis. Swanner's got the ball in front of the goal arc for Canton. Borja over to confront him. Jamie sweeps it on the left side to Schlotthauer. Ahead to Scarelli, who tried to steer it over to Condrich. The ball was knocked away. Borja's got it ahead to Willen. Swanner pounces on the loose ball in the goal box. Just before Willen arrived on the scene, Jamie's outlet comes short left side to Schlotthauer. Walter back in the goal box to Swanner. 10.28 to play in the period. Swanner will come out, and they won't mark him, so Jamie comes out uncontested across the red line. Don't have to worry about the three-line violation now. He can pass it pretty well wherever he wants. Jamie approaching midfield. Memphis players say, hey, come on, somebody come out here and mark double zero. But before they do, he clears it ahead for Randy Pikasinski. Pendleton dumps it in the goal box, and it's controlled by Daknewski. Long lead intercepted by Schlotthauer. Gets it ahead, though. Vasquez tried to tap it in the goal box, but he got it up too high. Swanner controls ahead to Randy. Pikasinski back edge of the midfield circle. Left side at midfield. It comes to Walt Schlotthauer. 9.48 to play in the first half. 2-0 Invaders. Tom Condrich put it in the seats, and Memphis will kick it in from the right side at midfield. Tomo got under it a little bit, and it was too high over the glass and out of play. Game two of the series, Friday night, 8.05 kickoff here at the Civic Center. Borja with it for Memphis, trying to dribble around a couple of guys, and I think Pesnecker got in his way. Borja gets it back. Condrich pokes it away for Scarelli. Lesh had it knocked away for a second, and you got a whistle, and you got a handball against the Invaders. You should have had two minutes on uh, Borja for kicking somebody in the back of the legs. Three fouls on Canton, two, or rather three fouls on Memphis, two on Canton. Pendleton feeds, Willen shot wide, rebound, loose out front. Paxos clears it away to midfield. Pendleton chases it down, hits it in the goal box for Daknewski. Yarrow sends it out to midfield. That's headed back by Schlotthauer to Scarelli to Randy Pikasinski. Randy to the right side, feeds Condridge. He fires. No, Scarelli can't get to the rebound. Now Lesh has it in the corner. Scarelli had it knocked away by Willen, and Scarelli is whistled for the third foul on Canton. On the obstruction foul, the team fouls now even at three apiece. 9.07 to play in the first half. Vasquez right side at midfield. Passes too far for Borja, and Swanner waits for it in the goal box and controls. And Jamie will come out with it. A head short outlet comes to Paxos. Now left side at the red line to Schlotthauer. Back to Swanner again. Jamie clears it ahead. Knocked away by Tony Johnson. Johnson in the middle of the floor. Schlotthauer back on D. Johnson takes it in the corner. There's a shot. Swanner with a good save to rob Tony Carbignani. Jamie diving to his right to come up with that one. Eight and a half minutes to go in the first half. Paxos ahead, Randy Pikasinski. Inside the Memphis red line on the right side to Condridge. Condridge takes it down to the corner. Centering pass for Randy. Knocked away by Willen for a second. Randy able to clear it back at midfield to Mike Paxos. And Paxos taps it over to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer is matched up with Tony Johnson. Paxos, Albuquerque on him. In the goal box, it comes to Swanner. Jamie, lead ball for Scarelli at midfield. Lesh on the left side. Trying to get inside. He gets inside Pendleton. Here they come. Three on two. Lesh feeds right side. Condrich, he shoots. Hit the post and then poked out by Doc Nisky. Condrich with a follow that sails through the goal crease. And coming the other way is Willen. Willen. Randy blows by him, but Willen controls the ball ahead to Albuquerque. There's a shot. Oh, what a save by Swanner. Tony Johnson had him on the post, and Jamie poked it away with a right hand. Scarelli trying to get inside Carbignani does. Working on Pendleton in the corner. They're on the line change. Lesh around one, two. Taken down on the trip by Pendleton. Lesh was one on four and drew the fourth foul down there. Kia will put the ball in play for the Invaders. Back outside it comes. Vosmeyer in the midfield circle. Seven and a half minutes to play in the second quarter. Scarelli steps off. Rudy Pikasinski is in. Bossmeyer ahead to Kia. Kia in the Memphis defensive zone, and he's hammered by Pendleton, and that's the fifth foul on Memphis, and they've got an awful long time to go without drawing the sixth one, only 7.23. That's a long time to go without drawing the sixth foul, so Memphis, again, digging themselves a hole with foul trouble. 
Pisano backs it up in the goal box. Jamie Swanner in the Canton zone sends it long. It bounces off the board, shy of the three lines. Kia couldn't control, however. Albuquerque does for Memphis. Albuquerque had the ball knocked away by Tima. Now Rudy to help out. And there's the sixth foul. Obstruction on Albuquerque. And the Invaders will go on the power play. They failed on their first power play opportunity of the night. The time of this penalty is 7.51 of the second period. Bench penalty on Memphis for six fouls. Canton has not had a penalty called on them in the game yet. In the first period, the Invaders committed three fouls. They have three in this period. Memphis now with 11 in the game. And the sixth one in this period was just committed by Albuquerque. Tony Johnson will serve the bench penalty. Timeout has been called. And with 7.09 to play in the period, Memphis calls time. We'll come back in just a minute. Canton 2, Memphis nothing. Follow the tracks to various for office supplies and so much more right in the heart of downtown Canton. Pesnecker, Susevich, and the Pendleton, the penalty killers for Memphis, and the power play unit for Canton, Rudy Pikasinski, Kia, Oscar Pusano, Bob Bosmeyer, and Walt Schlothauer. Six foul violation, that's what they're serving the penalty for. Power play goals in the league this year. Pikasinski was first in the league with 14, Schlothauer was third with 11. In between them was Danny O'Keefe of Fort Wayne. They didn't make the playoffs. Schlotthauer winds, fires. It's deflected in the corner. Pendleton tries to clear. Can't do it. Schlotthauer backs it up at midfield to Vossmeyer. Minute 46 in the penalty. Vossmeyer, center of the floor. Memphis in the box. Right side, Pisano. It hit Rudy in the heel and comes back out to midfield. Schlotthauer leaves it for Vossmeyer. One minute, 34 seconds left in the Canton power play, and the clock now shows 6.40 to go in the first half. Invaders lead it 2 to nothing. Vossmeyer, right side to Kia. Kia taps it out to Pisano. Back in the middle to Bobby V. Vossmeyer fires, hit the crossbar, and it comes way out to midfield. Vossmeyer heads it ahead. That's knocked away by Beck. And Susevich clears it ahead to Beck. Beck with Kia, and the ball taken back by Vossmeyer. Minute eight in the penalty. Here we go on the counter. Schlotthauer left side at midfield and back to Pisano. 6-10 in the half, a minute left in the penalty. Right side, Kia off the feed from Pisano. To the left to Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer looked over at Schlotthauer, but instead feeds right to Pisano. Oscar left side to Vossmeyer. Now to Schlotthauer. He fires, kick saved by Doknewski. And it's cleared out by Susevich, but controlled just outside the red line by Vossmeyer. 38 seconds in the penalty. Vossmeyer fires, header by Rudy, right into the chest of Doknewski, back to Schlotthauer, and now Vossmeyer. Walter, left side, winds, fires, save Doknewski, rebound back out to Schlotthauer, he sweeps it out to Vossmeyer, 21 in the penalty. Vossmeyer shot no, Kia couldn't get the rebound. Carbagnani clears it out. Susevich jumped over Vossmeyer and lost his balance. There was no foul there, there wasn't any contact. And Pisano comes up for Canton, eight seconds in the penalty, Kia through the middle of the box. Outside it comes to Schlotthauer, and now Vossmeyer, two seconds of the penalty. He fires, no, the penalty's over, and the shot's in the stage. So the Invaders go 0 for 2 on the power play, and Memphis will have a goal kick with 5.08 to play in the first half. Had some opportunities, but not able to put them away. 2-0 Canton. Goals by Rudy Pikasinski and Kia. Rudy assisted on the goal by Kia, and Pisano assisted on the goal by Rudy. Game one of this best of three semifinal playoff series. Juan Yepes with the ball for Memphis. Back in the goal box, Doknewski. Yarrow, unmarked, picks it up. Fires it out. Not, didn't get Carbagnani, but Condrich couldn't control. Carbagnani ahead to hand tack. He fires. No. Good play by Schlotthauer to steer that away from Kelly, who was thinking rebound goal. 
And Yepes has it in the midfield circle for Memphis. Carbignani ahead for Hantak. Hantak Kelly didn't get anything on the shot. Oh, what a kick save by Swatter on the rebound. Jamie Swanner gets a well-deserved round of applause there. Good kick saved by Swanner. Put that one in the highlight film. 4.38 to play. They try to center, but it's knocked away by Paxos. Yepes heads it back. Carbignani knocked away by Scarelli, but Lesh will get whistled for the dangerous play. Wicker trying to get inside. He shoots. Swanner punches it loose. Knocked away by Hantak. And Antac taking a couple of pretty good swipes in there, but can't get the back of the net. Carbignani and Scarelli fight for it. And a foul on Scarelli, and that's going to be the fifth one on the Invaders. So one more will put them down a man. And they've got 420 to go. There's a shot, and Hantac plows into Swanner. Oh, that was Kelly, excuse me. They, they look a lot alike. Swanner, long lead, intercepted Kelly ahead to Hantac. Hantac with a shot. That's blocked by Kondrich. And Yepes has it for Memphis. Carbignani centering ball wide by Kelly. Best offensive pressure that Memphis has put on in the game in the last couple of minutes. Randy Pikasinski fighting with Hantac. Loses his balance. And there's the sixth foul on Randy as he collides with Yepes. Albuquerque off the bench. No, they're not going to call the sixth foul. They're going to give him a two-minute trip and leave it at five fouls. So now the Invaders have that same problem Memphis had. If they commit a sixth foul, they could go two men down. Time of this penalty is 11.08 of the second period. Randy Pikasinski gets two minutes for tripping. This will be the first power play opportunity for Memphis on the night. On the year, Memphis was 30 of 111 for 27 percent. In the playoffs, in the Tampa Bay series, they were only one of 10 for 10 percent. The Invader penalty killers in the regular season, 33 goals allowed in 119 attempts. That's 72 percent at killing off the penalties, and the Invaders have scored a dozen shorthanded goals. And six of them belong to Art Kramer, and this is the first time he's been in on the man down team in quite a while. Kramer with Tima. There's a shot. Swanner pins it up against the boards and holds on. The fun bunch, the penalty killers, Condridge, Tima, Frick, and Kramer. Memphis on the power play. Beck with Willen and Carbignani. Albuquerque and Borja. Or that's Vasquez, I'm sorry. Three and a half minutes in the period and a minute 37 in the penalty. Back at the red line, Memphis on the power play. Willen, front edge of the midfield circle. Frick beats him at the red line. Carbignani in the corner. Albuquerque back outside to Carbignani. And now Willen, middle of the floor. Minute 24 in the penalty. Willen down the middle. He fires. Swanner with a save. He controls the rebound. And Jamie sends it out. Frick wanted it. And it bounces away from both him and Carbignani down in the Memphis zone. Dachniewski taps it ahead for Willen. We have a minute eight left in the penalty and just under three minutes to go in the first half. Carbignani, right side midfield across the Canton red line. He winds, he fires. That one's in the cheap seats. And it'll be a goal kick for Canton with a minute left in the penalty. One minute exactly left in the Invader penalty. Swanner and Tima to combine to put it in play. Jamie taps it outside the box. Timmy will wait a while, chew up some time on the clock, taps it back into Swanner, picks it up to take it away from Albuquerque. Jamie, outlet ahead to Frick. Frick. Good dribbling skills to get away from Beck. Fricky down in the Memphis zone. Invaders on the attack, shorthanded. Frick's pass hit the referee, and that allowed Albuquerque to take the ball away. Albuquerque, bad pass, knocked away by Tima, and Vasquez clears it out to the red line. 33 seconds in the penalty. Willen ahead, centering ball. Albuquerque couldn't get the shot away. Kramer took it away from him. Albuquerque got whistled for the foul anyway on the handball. And 2.19 to play in the period, 27 in the penalty. Timo will clear it out for Canton. Willen knocked the ball away from Frick. Beck taps it off the boards, but Tima clears it ahead for Steve Frick. Frick and Kramer come two on two. Fricky trying to get around Carbignani. The ball squirts outside the goal box. Dak Newski able to clear it ahead to Willen. Just 12 seconds in the penalty. Here comes Carbignani. Carbignani feeds right side. Two minutes to go in the half. 
Albuquerque out front, five seconds in the penalty. And now it's Willen at the red line, two seconds, one. The penalty is over. The Invaders have killed it off. Here comes Randy back out on the floor. So neither team able to convert on the power play so far in the first half. Minute 42 left to play in the first half. Albuquerque in the Canton zone, left side against Tima. He'll pass for Willen. Willen trying to get inside. Randy Pikasinski picked his pocket. Randy working on Albuquerque, trying to bounce it around the boards. Does, but Albuquerque comes away with it. Bad pass taken away by Frick. And here come the invaders in the counter. Frick with Kramer. Randy's the trailer, and Fricky lost his balance. Vasquez forgot where Kramer was, though, and let him take the ball away. But Al Albuquerque gets it back for Memphis. Taken down, and there's the sixth foul on the invaders. Trip call on Frick. So Memphis will go on the power play again. Time of this penalty will be 13.49. Memphis just failed on their first power play. They will have the man advantage for the remainder of the first half if they do not score. Timeout has been called by Memphis, and we'll take a timeout with a minute 11 to play in the first half. Canton 2, Memphis nothing. You can get Bunch, the penalty killers for Canton, Tima, Condrich, Kramer, and Frick. Kramer set a new league record this year with six shorthanded goals. And they want a towel down in the far end. Apparently somebody went down and there's some perspiration on the carpet that Swanner would like to uh, mop up. And once Jamie finishes his house cleaning down there, we'll be ready to go. Still something on the carpet down there. Some of the players will rub an ointment on their legs and oil before the games because if they don't want to slide, when they slide on the carpet, it takes some of the abrasion, some of the sting away. I think that's what was on the floor. A minute 11 to play in the period. Two to nothing, the Invaders lead. Memphis will be on the power play. Carbignani, left side at midfield, a hand tack. Kramer's out on him. The two St. Louis boys go at it. Willen drops it off. Right side midfield, Carbignani will keep track of the time and the period because the penalty's longer. In the goal box, Swanner punches it out and takes it on the play, and a dangerous play is called on Vasquez. So that'll give the kick to Canton with 56 seconds to play in the first half. The Invaders are shorthanded. Swanner with the ball in the goal box. Outlet midfield, Willen heads it back for Hantak. Carbignani back to hand tack on the right side at midfield to Willen, 44 seconds in the quarter. Willen working on Frick to the middle of the floor. Condridge sweeps that away. Carbignani gets it back. Carbignani shot, the heel pass. Oh, Vas Albuquerque couldn't get it. And the ball taken away from Vasquez by Condridge. Condridge gets around one man. Carbignani knocks it away from him, 25 seconds in the period. And Frick gets inside and then gets hammered. And they call obstruction on Frick? You gotta be kidding. Here we go the other way. Frick had position and got shoved into the boards and had possession of the ball, and they say he was obstructing. Awful hard to obstruct when you've got the ball. In the corner, Vasquez can't control. Condrich tries to clear it out, and that one may not come down. It doesn't, it gets stuck up in the girders. So we'll put it in play from the Canton red line with five seconds to go in the first half. Let's hope that doesn't decide to fall down in the middle of the third quarter. One soccer ball is enough as far as the goalkeepers are concerned. I got caught up in the girder work here at the Civic Center and it, that'll be one for the grounds crew, one of the braver members to go up there and flag it down tomorrow probably. Willen, left side hand tack. In the corner, shot, no, and that'll be the end of the period. So at the end of the first half, the Canton Invaders lead the Memphis Storm by a score of two to nothing. We come back to the Civic Center in just a minute.
and Vasquez in the midfield circle. Easy to spot Albuquerque. Everybody else on the team has the orange panels on their uniform. For some reason, Albuquerque got a shirt with white ones. I don't know the reason for that, but he stands out like a sore thumb with that different jersey on. Here comes Memphis on the power play. Carbignani across the red line on the right side to Vasquez. Out front to Willen. Willen winds fires. It's blocked by Kramer. Willen and Kramer on the run up the floor uh, into the Memphis zone. Kramer trying to get inside Willen, and he can't do it. And Willen able to tap it in the goal box to Dachniewski. 30 seconds in the penalty. Here comes Carbignani up the field. Right side midfield. Picked up by Frick at the red line. Shot blocked by Kondrich. Chased back by Vasquez. 20 seconds to go in the penalty. Vasquez sends it down in the zone. Tima will beat Albuquerque up against the boards. Albuquerque sweeps it in the goal box, but there's nobody home there for Memphis. Swanner controls. Eight seconds in the penalty. Lead ball for Frick at midfield. Knocked away from him. Antax got it for Memphis. Frick stepped in front of Willen. Condridge clears it out, but Condridge is going to get whistled for the dangerous play foul. The penalty has run out. Memphis will put it in play in the Canton Inn. In the corner they go. Centering ball kicked out by Swanner. And here comes Rudy up the field. Rudy and Frick two on one if they hurry. And Carbignani will get whistled on the obstruction call. Rudy did a good job to draw that. Here's Kramer to Pikasinski. But they put the ball in play from the wrong spot. He put it play inside the red line. It was outside. Tima sweeps left side to Kondrich. Good move on Albuquerque. He shoots. Vasquez tips it in the corner. Frick tries to center, but that's covered up by Dachniewski. We played a minute 15 of the third quarter. The Invaders have killed off the second Memphis power play. Carbignani dumps it back in the goal box for Dachniewski. 13.35 to play in the third period. Kelly heads the ball into the Canton zone. Pisano chased back by Borja. Kelly to help out, but Pisano bounces it off the boards to himself, and here comes Oscar. Oscar around the midfield. He winds, he fires. That's blocked by Yepes. Oscar gets it back again, but Yepes clears away for Memphis. And it's intercepted by Tima. He heals it over for Kia. Kia had it knocked away by Borja. Kia stepped in front of uh, Susevich and gets it back to Tim Tima. Good hustle by Kia. 13.05 to play in period number three. One foul. Should be one foul on each team. Kia working on Yepes, and the ball knocked away and taken by Borja. Borja across the Canton red line. Shot blocked by Pisano. It comes back to Kelly. He leaves it out there for Susevich, who dumps it ahead for Borja. Ramiro Borja on the right point to Yepes. Yepes, middle of the floor, Susevich back to the net on Kia, moves around Kia, back in the corner, hand tack with a shot, that hits the crossbar and knocked out in the corner. Yepes with a follow, that's blocked by Pisano. Oscar trying to head it away, gets it ahead to Kia. Kia with Rudy. Rudy up the right side of the floor. Wickers back on D. Rudy trying to get around him up the side of the floor. He does in the corner. Dachniewski bounces it out, though. Rudy and Dachniewski collide. And coming the other way is Susevich for Memphis. 12-15 in the period. Borja in the Canton zone. Wall feed, no. Headed back by Vosmeyer and controlled in the one hop by Swanner. Here we go the other way. Ahead to Kia. Kia on the run at the Memphis red line. Kia with Pikasinski. The storm back on D. Kia dumps it out to midfield on the left side in front of the Memphis bench to Tima. Tima midfield circle to Pisano. Oscar being hounded there by Susevich, and he backs it up in the goal box for Swanner. 11.49 to play in the third quarter. Canton 2, Memphis nothing. Game 1 of the AISA playoff semifinals in a three-line violation on Jamie as he threw it over the head of Kia and into the Memphis zone. 11.42 to play in the third quarter. 2-0 Canton. Susevich to put it in play for Memphis. Borrow dumps it on the left side. And uh, Willen dumps it underneath. Kelly back outside. Ball deflected by Kia. Taken by Pikasinski. Pikasinski sweeps it on the left side to Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer right side at midfield to Tima. Tima on the run with Borja. Sends it ahead for Rudy. Ball knocked away by Hantak. Or rather, that's uh, Kelly, excuse me. Kelly clears it, but there's nobody there but Vosmeyer ahead to Rudy. Pikasinski, wall feed for Kia, knocked away by Yepes. Tima with a follow. Good save by Dachniewski to punch that one out in the corner. Vosmeyer hounding Susevich there. Susevich goes down. A tripping call goes against Kia. That's the... Well, they still have only one foul marked on the Invaders. They called one down here earlier, I thought. But we'll say the team fouls even at one apiece. 11.03 to play in the third quarter. 
Martin Vasquez with the ball for Memphis. Pikasinski with him. Ahead for Pesnecker. Pesnecker fronted by Tima. Off the wall. Pisano clears ahead to Rudy. Rudy trying to get around the right side. Does. He feels it back and knocked away from Pisano by Pesnecker. Here comes Hantek. Ahead to Tony Pesnecker. Pesnecker right side at midfield. Willen had to wait on the pass. That gives the invaders time to get back on D. Willen, Kia fronts him. Willen cuts to the left side. Pisano picks him up. Walfie, Kia knocks it away from Hantak, and Swanner covers up against the boards. Jamie, long lead for Pikasinski. Rudy trying to get inside Pesnecker. He's taken down, no call. And here comes Pendleton the other way ahead to Vasquez. Vasquez across the Canton red line. Shot blocked by Schlotthauer. Pendleton gets it back at the right point. He's fronted by Vosmeyer, and now Vasquez. Pisano stepped in front of Hantak to knock that out to midfield. Pesnecker flags it down there. Scarelli out on him on D. Ahead it comes, swept to the middle of the floor. Pesnecker, Vasquez, Hantak had it knocked away by Pisano. And the foul goes against Oscar. Hantak with a push on Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer and Hantak exchange pleasantries. Well, we've seen it before this year. Hantak is one of the dirtier players in the league. Him and Louis Bennett, probably the two worst in the league. There's a shot by Pesnecker. He scores. And Memphis has cut the lead in half to 2-1. to one. Pesnecker with a goal at 5.04 of the third period. Sean Pendleton will pick up the assist. His first point of the playoffs. And Memphis has cut the invader lead in half. It's now 2-1. to one. We're in the third quarter. Canton at the Memphis red line. Mike Paxos. The uh, ball ahead for Schlotthauer. Knocked away by Vasquez. Antac on the run. Condrich will get there first. Antac got a shot off anyway, but Swanner able to control. Jamie rolls the outlet straight ahead to Tomo Condrich. Ahead. Memphis red line. It comes to Schirelli. Back to Condrich. And now Paxos. Ahead for Randy Pikasinski, but Pendleton taps that ahead. Back off the heel of Pesnecker. Pendleton gets it back in the goal box for Daknuski. Daknuski, long lead. And it's knocked away. Hantak missed his man on the pass. Scarelli fighting with Pesnecker for the ball. Pesnecker heels it out on the point. Push foul goes against Scarelli, and that's foul number three on the invaders in the period. Daknuski outlet midfield. Hantak. Working on Paxos, taps it back to Vasquez. He's picked up by Kondrich. Vasquez winds fire. Swanner got the right hand of the ball and slaps it out to Randy Pikasinski. Randy on the run, a wound one. Sends it ahead in the race with Willen. Willen took it down. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Willen just rammed himself up against the boards. Randy never touched him, and he gets the foul. That's the fourth foul, and it's a terrible call. Randy Pikasinski did not touch him. Willen did an acting job and got the call. Here we send it ahead in the Memphis zone. It's sent right back out by Mike Paxos. Yepes heads it over. Randy Pikasinski is going to get there. Trying to get around Willen. He gets between one, around two. He shoots there. He's got it right through the crease. Tony Johnson plows Scarelli from behind. No call. And here we come the other way. Albuquerque dumps it over on the left side to Yepes. 8.21 to play in the period. Yepes inside the red line. Randy on him. Back outside to Willen. Willen inside to Yepes. Yepes across the floor on the right side to Carbignani on the right point. Condridge fronts him. They dump it for Tony Johnson in the corner. Paxos on him. Johnson back to the net. Scarelli to double team. Johnson comes out front with it. Ball tapped away by Scarelli. Taken by Randy Pikasinski. He's hammered by Pesnik by Carbignani. Carbignani complains about the call and they have nothing to complain about. That's the second foul on Memphis, and they've committed about five in the period. 7.55 to play. Canton 2, Memphis 1. Swanner sweeps it around Tony Johnson, ahead to Pisano. Pisano stops shy of the red line, taken down from behind by Albuquerque, and that's the third foul on Memphis. Pisano will put it in play from the left point for Canton. Oscar dumps it out to Vosmeyer in the midfield circle. Vosmeyer ahead for Rudy in the corner. Rudy working on Yepes back to the net. He sweeps it inside. Kia scores! Off a beautiful feed by Rudy Pikasinski. 
The Invaders lead 3-1. to one. Albuquerque drops it back. Carbignani. Here comes the lead ball. Tima stepped in front of Tony Johnson. Took it away. Here come the Invaders. Three on three. Tima midfield. Moves around one. And Timmy tried to get the call with the acting job, and that time he didn't get it, and that was a good call. Swanner bounces it off the bench. Carbignani over to Yepes. Yepes, Kia with him on D. Kia got a piece of it. Yepes with a shot. That one's over the glass in the stage. 7-10 to play in a period. Goal kick, Canton. Timmy is still a little upset at the no call there. Carbignani got a piece of him, but not nearly as much as Timmy made it look like, I don't think. Seven ten to play in the period. Four fouls on Canton, three on Memphis. The Invaders lead three to one. Two goals by Kia, one by Rudy Pikasinski. Swanner also discussing the art of soccer with the referees down there. Jamie picks the ball up, outlet midfield. Rudy had some trouble with Pendleton there. And Hantak has it, but Kia knocked it away from Pendleton, and Oscar Pisano chases it down. Pisano trying to get around Vasquez. Now backs it up across the front of the goal box to Tima. Tima says he likes to play against Hantak. That's who he's matched up with right now. Now Hantak steps away from him, goes ahead to Swanner. Swanner ahead to Pikasinski. Rudy double teamed at midfield, and he knocked it away from the double team, but Willen clears it down to Hantak in the Canton zone. Hantak back to the net on Tima. Outside, Vasquez whiffed on the shot. Centering ball score by Vasquez. Off the feet by Pesnecker. And Memphis is on the board for the second time. Vasquez will get the goal. Pesnecker with the assist. That'll be his second point of the night. And Memphis again pulls to within one. At three to two, Vasquez has his first goal of the playoffs. He had 27 in the regular season. Pesnecker, his second point of the night. The time of the goal is 8.34. And Memphis still showing some signs of life here. They're right back in the game. Only one behind. It'll be Les Scarelli, Randy Pikasinski, Tom Condrich, Walt Slothauer, Mike Paxos for Canton. Martin Vasquez, Tony Pesnecker, Ted Hantak, Greg Willen, and Sean Pendleton for Memphis. Scarelli drops the kickoff back. Slothauer ahead. Pendleton dumps it back to midfield. Swept to the middle of the floor. Pesnecker up the right side. Vasquez to Hantak, who heads it wide. He shoots again. Just missed to the line. And it's cleared out by Condrich ahead to Paxos. Axos tries to clear it to Randy, and it's a three-line violation. Bring it back to the Canton Red Line, 6.08 to play in the third quarter. Invaders lead by one. The ball is deflected, and Paxos clears ahead to Walt Slothauer up the left side. Les Garelli on the run with Pendleton. The ball squirts free in the goal box. Doc Newski's got it there, long lead. Hantak heads it. Paxos knocks it away. And Randy Pikasinski ahead to Schlothauer. Three on three. Schlothauer fires, and that's over the glass and out of play. Goal kick Memphis with 5.49 to go in the third period. Canton three, Memphis two. The Invaders led 2-0 at halftime. Goal kick for the Storm. Game two, Friday night here at the Civic Center. 8.05 kickoff time. We'll hit the air on 1480 Friday night, 7.55. Yepes with the ball from Memphis. Back in the goal box, it comes to Doc Newski. Yarrow picks it up, lofts it out midfield. Tony Johnson there. Johnson working on Paxos. Wall feed intercepted by Jamie Swanner. Albuquerque was clearing in. Lead ball, Randy Pikasinski. Randy on the run with Tony Wicker. Wicker looking to get it inside. Randy took the ball away, knocked outside. Yepes, Scarelli with a shot. Oh, he put it out of play. Goal kick again for Memphis, 5.27 to play in the third quarter. They had an opportunity there, and Lesh just got under it and fired it high and wide to the right. Yepes, right side of the goal box, now in the goal box to Doc Newski. He picks it up. 
outlet midfield. Tony Johnson working on Mike Paxos. Johnson bumps it around the boards. Couldn't get around Paxos to get back to it, though. Swanner controls there ahead for Lescarelli, who got inside Yepes up the right side. Yelesh with a move inside. Wants the feed out to Condridge. He gets it. Tomo in the corner. Gets inside one. Centering ball loose out front. They can't get it in. Tomo tries to fire again. That one's knocked up in the girders by Albuquerque. And we'll put it in play at the Memphis red line with 4.57 to go in the third quarter. 3-2 is our score. Invaders with the lead. They'll put the ball in play. Schlotthauer will step away, and Kondrich will be the trigger man. Tomo feeds left side. Schlotthauer winds, fires. It's wide to the right. Rebound comes outside to Paxos. Paxos fires, and that one's in the crowd. And another goal kick for Memphis. Vader's had a chance to have this thing put away at halftime, and let's hope that doesn't come back to haunt them here. They're only up by one now at 3-2 with 4.51 to play in the third quarter. Game one of the AISA semifinal series. This is best two out of three. Yepes with it, right side. Ahead to Carbignani, had it picked away by Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer backs it away from Tony Johnson to Tima. Yepes got a head on it. Tony Johnson hammers Tima into the boards. And the team fouls are even at four apiece. And how Tony Johnson can look at the referee and question that call is beyond me. That could have been a two-minute call. Vossmeyer at the red line. Off the glass. Rudy Pikasinski. Ball poked away by uh, Wicker. And coming up the floor is Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Ball knocked away by Rudy Pikasinski. Pisano and Albuquerque race in the corner. Rudy deflects. Albuquerque gets it back. Dumps it outside to Carbignani. And they clear it down to the right side for Tony Johnson. Johnson trying to get inside Tima. Tima blocked the shot. And Rudy Pikasinski is held by Carbignani. And what do they call? And they call a handball on Rudy. And Vossmeyer is going to get two minutes. As he let Carbignani have a lord of it. If the referees are doing their job, Vossmeyer doesn't have to do that. The officiating in this half, frankly, has stunk. And you can hear what the fans think about it. Time of the penalty on Vossmeyer is 11.50. Check that, make it 10.50. So Memphis will go on the power play. Bossmeyer gets two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct. Memphis will get the power play and a chance to tie the game. Canton three, Memphis two. Carvignani, Vasquez, Hantak, Willen, and Albuquerque for Memphis. Tima, Condridge, Frick, and Kramer. The penalty killing unit for Canton. 4-10 to play in the third quarter. Two minutes. Unsportsmanlike conduct. The call on Bob Vosmeyer. Carvignani will put the ball in play for Memphis. Left side to Hantak. Hantak, bad pass intercepted by Frick. Frick on the run. Carvignani will get there first. And Carbignani flags it down in the Memphis end. Minute 50 left in the penalty. Here comes Vasquez up the right side of the floor. Vasquez on the right point. Middle of the floor to Carbignani. Left side to Willen. In the corner to Hantak. Centering ball off the heel of Albuquerque. Vasquez on the follow. He scores. The game is tied. Power play goal. Vasquez will get the goal. And I imagine Hantak would get the assist. And Memphis has tied the game at 3-3 with an assist from the officials. Time of the goal, 11-15. May sound like we get on them a little bit, but I tell you what, folks, if you could see what we're seeing... Oh, they're going to give Albuquerque the assist, not Hantak. Tima with the ball. Midfield for Canton. They head to Rudy, who's hammered. And they uh, finally call one. Susevich gets the fifth foul. Team fouls are even at five apiece. Bossmeyer left side. Tima fires. That just wide. 
And we come outside of the point, and there's the sixth foul as Kelly takes Pisano down. And the Invaders will go on the power play themselves. Time of the penalty will be 11.27. And listen to the crowd. the guys rumming the crowd up. We got a power play now. This will be the Invaders' third man advantage of the night. They failed on the first two. This one will give them a chance to take the lead back with 3.33 left in the third quarter. Kia to put the ball in play for Canton. Right point to Pisano. Oscar, middle of the floor to Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer to Rudy. Rudy right back to Vossmeyer. Now Schlotthauer, left point, back to Vossmeyer, middle of the floor at the red line. Vossmeyer, a couple of steps in, right side, Pisano, winds, fires, no, rebound. Rudy couldn't get it in, trying to take it away from Susevich. Susevich trying to sweep it out of the corner. Rudy with him, step for step. Rudy knocked the ball away, Pisano clears to Schlotthauer. Minute 32 left in the penalty, 3.04 in the period as Vossmeyer sets the attack up again. Vossmeyer, left side, Schlotthauer, winds, fires, no, rebound came out behind Kia. And here comes Pisano, minute 20 in the penalty. Vossmeyer, middle of the floor, right side to Pisano. He shoots. Pekosinski had it knocked away. Vossmeyer with a follow. That one's up into the crowd, up into the catwalk, up above the scoreboard. That'll be a goal kick for Memphis with 2.46 left in the period and a minute 13 in the penalty. Game is tied, 3-3. The Invaders led 2-0 at halftime. Pesnecker and Tuba for Vasquez for Memphis. Rudy and two for Kia for Canton. Pisano in the Canton zone, puts it up in the air. Swanner catches it on the fly. Outlet ahead to Vossmeyer. Minute four in the penalty as Bobby crosses the red line. Now across midfield and into the Memphis zone. Vossmeyer a couple of steps inside the red line. Out by the arc, right side Pisano. Wines, fires, block. Pisano follows again. Rebound, Schlotthauer, no. Rebound again, knocked away. 47 seconds in the penalty as Pisano is hammered from behind and the foul goes against Memphis in the person of Boros Susevich. 45 seconds left in the penalty, 2.18 to go in the period. The game is tied 3-3. Pisano will put the ball in play for Canton. 2.18 left in the period. Bossmeyer, middle of the floor. To the right to Pisano. He winds, he fires. It's blocked by Beck. Pisano gets it back outside to Vossmeyer. He shoots, and it's tipped out of play, but it was touched last by Memphis. Canton will kick it in from the left corner. 20, 35 seconds in the penalty. Vossmeyer will trigger it in from the left corner. Vossmeyer off the wall, and Beck able to pin that in, and it's controlled by Daknewski. 30 seconds in the penalty. Daknewski outlets Susevich. And Schlotthauer able to get position on the boards, but now Susevich comes back and able to control double team. Susevich goes down and got the call. And that is the sixth foul on the Invaders. So with 21 seconds left in the penalty, Memphis will get a power play in 21 seconds. Game is tied 3-3. Wipe out the power play. Will be four on four for 21 seconds. Time of the penalty, 13.06 of the third quarter. The Invaders called for six fouls. And now the penalty killers will come in for Canton right now, even though it will be four on four for a little while. It's Kramer, Frick, Tima, and Condrich. Four players on the floor for Memphis are Willen, Albuquerque, Vasquez, and Carbignani, and Hantak is the guy who'll be coming out of the penalty box in 21 seconds. Outside shot into the stage by Carbignani. And that'll be a goal kick for Canton now. Score is tied, 3-3.
Swanner with the ball in the goal box for the Invaders. Jamie outlet Frick, and it's over his head in a three-line violation. Minute 45 left in the third quarter. 12 seconds left in the Memphis penalty and a minute 51 left in the Canton penalty. Carbignani to put the ball in play. Left side to Willen. Willen backs it up midfield to Carbignani. Vasquez back to Carbignani again. He's back at the Memphis red line. They want to let their own penalty expire. It just did. Hand tacks on the floor. Minute 30 left in the period. The Memphis penalty will run for the rest of the quarter if they don't score. Vasquez left side to Willen. The game is tied 3-3. Willen shot blocked by Kramer. Hand tack after the rebound. Tima with him. Hand tack pass taken away by Kramer. Ahead to Frick. Frick had it ripped away by Hantak, but Fricky got it back. Bounces it back to Tima and ahead to Condridge. And the ball for Frick knocked away by Vasquez, but headed out of play by Hantak. Kent will control with a minute six left in the period and a minute 12 left in the penalty. The game is tied 3-3. Rudy Pikasinski, one goal. Kia, two goals for Canton. Tony Pesnecker, one goal. Martin Vasquez, two goals for Memphis. At the other end of the floor, Carbignani dumps it in the goal box for Doknuski. Outlet on the right side to Vasquez, 56 in the quarter. Vasquez, right edge of the midfield circle. They kill off the rest of this quarter. The Invaders get the kickoff, so they will effectively kill off the rest of the penalty. Bad pass. Here comes Frick the other way. Frick bounces it around the boards. He's got one man, and Vasquez able to shield him away from the ball. Doknuski's out of the net, trying to knock it around Kramer, and Hantak comes the other way for Memphis. 35 seconds. Condridge and Tima back on D for Canton. Condridge poked the ball away for a second. Hantak knocked it away. Frick got it back. It's taken back by Albuquerque. On the right side, Carbignani shot blocked by Condridge and covered up by Swanner with 23 seconds left in the quarter. Jamie lost the outlet midfield. And it bounces down on the Memphis end. Willen is back there with it. 14 seconds left in the period. Tied up at 3-3. You're with 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio. Radio home of the Invaders. Carbignani right side, Canton. And sliding play by Frick to steal the ball away. Here comes Fricky, and time runs out. That's the end of the third quarter with a score. The Canton Invaders 3 and the Memphis Storm 3. We got the final 15 minutes after... And in six seconds, Kia will come out of the penalty box. Game is tied 3-3 with 15 minutes of soccer to go. It's been a good one. Bossmeyer drops it back to Tima. Tima against Tony Johnson. Sweeps it around him on the boards. Tima gets away from Carbignani. Key is out of the penalty box. Carbignani knocks it back for Tony Johnson. Johnson in a race with Bossmeyer. And the ball knocked free. And a kick into Swanner by Tony Johnson. And I think they gave him a foul on that. I'm not sure. He pointed this way, and that means Canton's ball. Now, did he call a foul or not? I think that's what uh, Swanner and Pisano are pleading. Hey, come on. Yeah, they did call a foul. Okay, that's the first foul on Memphis. Swanner's about to be getting a complex back there between Johnson and Hantak has really been taking some shots at him whenever he gets a chance. Swanner with the ball in the goal box, puts it on the floor, and he'll come out with it. We've played 30 seconds of the fourth period. Jamie ahead, ball intercepted by Albuquerque, but Kia took it back to Pisano. Oscar with a move around the boards. Pisano working on Johnson, sweeps it up the right side, around one, around two in the corner. They fight for it there, and a foul on Pisano. And that was an acting job again by Susevich, or rather by uh, Wicker. Team fouls even at one apiece. Lead ball off the chest of Tony Johnson. Sweeps it on the right side for Carbignani. Carbignani ahead for Albuquerque. Albuquerque, Pisano fronts him. Centering ball knocked away by Vosmeyer and swept ahead by Schlotthauer for Kia. Kia trying to get away and does ahead to Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer up the right side of the floor. Lead ball for Pikasinski. And Doknuski out of the net. Dumps that one out of play. Canton will put it in touchline right side with 13.55 to play in the game. 3-3, the game is tied. We're in the fourth quarter. Wendy Francis, we wish you a happy 19th birthday. Hope we can celebrate it with an invader victory. 
Pisano, left side, Tima, Rudy posted up. He shoots, hit the crossbar. Rebound comes out to Tima. He puts it up for Kia in the right corner. Kia back to the net, pokes it back out to midfield to Vossmeyer, and the Invaders set up again. Vossmeyer to Kia. Kia back to Vossmeyer, clears to the right side. Vossmeyer inside, ball knocked up in the air by Carbignani, caught on the fly by Dachniewski as he took it away from Rudy Pikasinski. His pass is intercepted, knocked away at midfield by Vossmeyer, and controlled by Tima. Tima drops it back in the goal box for Swanner. 13-20 left in the game. We're tied 3-3. Swanner will come out with it. Jamie. Left side for Tima. Tima midfield ahead for Kia. Kia drops it back. He's hammered and no call on Yepes. And here's Pisano. Bossmeyer down in the corner for Rudy Pikasinski. Pisano with a shot, and the follow by Vossmeyer is in the crowd. 12.46 left in the game. It'll be a goal kick for Memphis. Game is tied, 3-3. You've got... Randy Pikasinski, Les Corelli, Tom Condrich, Walt Schlotthauer, and Mike Paxos for Canton. Ted Hantak, Martin Vasquez, Tony Pesnecker, Sean Pendleton, and I would think Greg Willen would be the other guy for Memphis, although I don't see how yeah, there's Willen. 1,683, the attendance at the Civic Center tonight. Should have more than that. Condridge with a steal. Ahead it comes to Scarelli. Lesh lost the ball to Willen. And Willen wraps it over on the right side. <laughs> Vasquez with it there. He scored two tonight. Ahead for Pendleton. Taken down by Paxos. And that'll be foul number two on the Invaders. So Hantek draws the foul. Pendleton will put it in play for Memphis. Game tied 3-3. Pendleton dumps it to the left for Hantak. Willen with a shot blocked by Paxos. Willen got it back over to Vasquez. Dumps it out at midfield to Pesnecker. Pendleton chases it down. Randy out on him. And now Vasquez dishes back to Pesnecker. Lead ball knocked away by Paxos. Headed back by Willen. Paxos gets it back for Canton. Clears it out to midfield. And Randy on the break up the left side, but there's a foul. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Foul on Randy Pikasinski, and for what I don't know, that's the third one on Canton. Hantak, heel pass. Vasquez had it knocked away by Paxos and Schlotthauer. And here comes Condrich. We'll get a break sometime this game. I don't know when. Condrich ahead to Scarelli. Scarelli got behind Willen. He looks inside. Wolfie knocked outside. Condrich with a follow to Randy. He couldn't get it in. Back to Paxos. Back to Randy. To Paxos. He shoots. There's a save. Rebound Randy. Save again by Dachniewski. Long lead for Hantek up the right side. And Condrich steps in front and clears it in the goal box for Swanner. 11.26 left in the game. Tied at 3-3. Condrich coming out with it. Tomo picked up by Hantak at the red line. Lead ball for Randy Pikasinski. Back to the net on Pendleton in the uh, Memphis zone. Out front to Scarelli. Back to Randy in the corner. Randy taps it off the boards for Scarelli. Lesh backs it away from Willen over to Condrich. He fires. No. Randy. Scarelli shot. No. Rebound knocked away. And taken back by Condrich. Back out on the point to Tima. 10.58 left. Tima a couple of steps in. Into Randy. Randy tries to turn. He shoots just wide to the right. Condrich looking for some fun. Tomo centers and is taken away by Vasquez. Dumps it back in the goal box for Doc Nooski. 10.44 left. We're still tied at 3-3. Willen coming up the left side of the floor across midfield. Schirelli with him. Dumps it for Tony Johnson. Back to the net in the right corner. Johnson, the Canton defensive zone, comes out on the point. Clears it out at midfield to Carbignani. Midfield circle to Yepes. Juan Yepes looks in on Randy Pikasinski. Now Vosmeyer comes out to pick him up. He puts it in the air for Johnson. Johnson, and the ball knocked away, and you got a dangerous play call against Memphis on Tony Johnson. And it's three fouls on Canton, two on Memphis. Vosmeyer will put it in play for the Invaders. Drops it back in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. 10-15 to play in the game. We're tied at 3-3. Left side to Tima. 
Dima pushes it ahead. Rudy Pikasinski at the Memphis red line. Rudy has to back up to midfield. Good pressure by Wicker. Knocked it away to Tony Johnson. Johnson winds, fires. Swatter with a save. Straight up in the air. Tima knocked it back. Johnson had it knocked away. And you're going to have a foul on Swanner. Oh, you got to be kidding. They're going to call a penalty kick on that? And I think Tima got a yellow card. Referees have done everything they could to give this game to Memphis. And I would say that if Joe Macknick was standing right next to me. 9.56 left in the game. The time of this penalty is going to be 5.04 of the fourth quarter. Pisano is the guy, I guess, who got the yellow card. And it's a four-minute penalty. Now they cut it down to two. And now they're not going to give him the penalty kick. They're just going to give him the power play. They just put it on the spot. Okay, no penalty kick. There wasn't a foul in the first place. There's a shot that's blocked. Memphis on the power play again. Condridge clears, and it goes into the crowd. Game is tied 3-3. The Invader bench is incensed, and they have a right to be. 9.51 left to play. Willen with the ball in the midfield circle. Over to Carbignani. Minute 48 in the penalty. Tima working on Albuquerque. Back it comes to Willen. And now Carbignani. Carbignani winds, fires, blocked by Tima. And Frick controls for Canton. Frick with a move around Willen. He blows around Carbignani up the right side. Kramer trailing. And Frick will dribble and use some time. Frick, he takes it back to midfield. Gets it around Hantak. Hantak took a shot. Coming the other way, they dump it down in the Memphis zone, but Willen comes away with it. Minute 22 left, and Frick deflects. Willen has it, almost had it taken away by Kramer, but they get it back to Doc Newski, ahead to Hantak. Hantak coming up the floor, Timo on him. Hantak, and not a particularly good pass, and it hit both Kondrich and Tima and then scored it out of play. Minute eight left in the penalty. Memphis will have a corner kick from the left side. 9.04 left in the game. Dump it out. Centering ball blocked by Kramer. Willen with a shot that's just wide to the right. Hantak chases it down. Dumps it out at the red line to Carbignani. Back to Hantak. Tries to center and it comes out behind Albuquerque. Vasquez looking for the follow. Intercepted by Kondrich. Kondrich pushes it up the floor. Willen will get there first and dump it back to Daknuski. Outlet Carbignani. Frick on him. And over to Willen. 43 seconds in the penalty. 8.37 in the game. We're tied 3-3. Hantak. Dumps it in. Swanner knocked it away. And Jamie grabs it. And we're going to get a dangerous play call on Albuquerque. And that's the third foul. Or is it the fourth? Third foul on Memphis. Here comes Kramer in the Memphis zone. Kramer had the ball knocked away from behind by Vasquez. Willens got it back for Memphis. 22 in the penalty. Antac midfield. He collides with Tima. Tima deflects. Vasquez got it back. Frick with a sliding play to steal. Frick up the right side of the floor. He shoots just wide to the left. 10 seconds in the penalty. Willen with the ball in the Memphis zone. I think the officiating may have finally got the invaders mad enough that they're really putting some heat on here in the man down. The penalty is over. Here comes Pisano back on the floor. Vasquez shoots wide. Borja couldn't get it. Double teamed in the corner. And Kramer trying to get around. Borja centers. And Kondrich took it away from Albuquerque. Kondrich clears out to midfield. Frick on the run with Willen. Willen got there first, knocked it away. Pisano and Hantak fly, or and Kelly fight for it. And back it comes to Willen. Willen ahead to Albuquerque. Ryan, the ball's intercepted by Kondrich. Kondrich up the floor for Canton, up the right side. Tomo lets Willen clear by. Fires it up the left side for Kramer. Kramer, he fires it off the wall. Nobody home, and Willen taps it back to Doc Newski. 7.20 to go. We're still tied at 3-3. Willen with the ball, trying to work around Frick. Frick knocked the ball away from behind. Pisano ahead to Frick, and you got a whistle and a foul on Willen. And the worm may be finally starting to turn this way. 
about time we got a call from this crew and the fouls are even at four apiece. Bosmeyer to put it in play for Canton. Drops it over to Tima. Tima back to Vosmeyer. Fricks off and Key is on. And Pisano has it back edge of the midfield circle. Moves around Yepes. Clears it ahead for Kia. Doknuski kicked it away from him. Rudy in a fight for it, but Borja comes away with it. Rudy knocked it away from behind to Pisano. Pisano up the middle around the right side. Kelly knocked it away from him. Borja had it stolen by Vosmeyer, but Kelly got it back. And Kelly and Vosmeyer fight for it along the boards. They dump it back to Carbignani and now Willen. 6.37 left in the game. Lead ball for Borja up the right side for Memphis. Pisano with him step for step in the corner. Ball loose. Kia knocks it away. And you got a foul. The fifth one on Memphis on Ramiro Borja as he had a piece of Kia's jersey. Five fouls on Memphis. 6.29 left in the game. One more foul would put Canton on the power play. 3-3, tie score. And here we go. Pisano with the ball for Canton. Ahead to Vosmeyer at the red line. Vosmeyer pushes it ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy dumps it off the board. Jep has knocked it away. Rudy got it back and dumps it out to Tima. Tima around one, and the ball's taken away. Here is Kelly. Kelly moves up the left side into the Canton zone around the middle. Down the left side to Susevich. Pisano stepped in front and knocked it away. Oscar clears, but it's in the seats. 6.05 left. Memphis will kick it in from the right side. Timeout on the field. 6.05 left in the game. We come back in a moment. Canton 3, Memphis 3. Memphis with five fouls. Canton with four. 6.05 left in the game. And we're tied at 3-3. Swanner will come out with it. Jamie out across the red line. And he dumps it long in the right corner in the Memphis end for Kia. Kia working along in the corner. Tries to middle the middle of the floor for Vosmeyer. It's knocked away. Tima knocked it away from Hantak. Vasquez centering pass intercepted. Kia right side. Vosmeyer centers. Knocked away. Gets it back. Tima winds fires. That's knocked away again. Vosmeyer takes it in the corner. He shoots. And it's blocked by Willen. Vosmeyer taps it back out front to Tima. Sweeps it middle of the floor. Pisano. Pisano with a move around Hantak. Oscar down the left side. He lets it go to the middle. Rudy couldn't get the shot away. And has to back it up to Tima. 524 left in the game. Vosmeyer ahead for Kia, who's hammered from behind. And there's the sixth foul on Pesnecker. Invaders to go on the power play. Time of the penalty, 9.40 of the fourth quarter. Now the Invaders got to get some business, though, here. They are 0 for 3 with a man advantage tonight. And this is the number one penalty power play team in the league. So they got to take advantage of this one. They need this to get the lead. 5.20 left in the game. The Invaders will have the man advantage for two minutes. Osmeyer, Pisano, Schwanhauer, Kia, and Pikusinski for Canton. Esnecker, Susevich, Beck, and Pendleton. The penalty killing unit for the Memphis score. Left side, Schwanhauer winds, fires. It's blocked out front, up in the air. Susevich heads it out to midfield. Vosmeyer on the run with it there, dumps it back to Swanner. Minute 50 left in the penalty as Vosmeyer comes back out to the midfield area. 5.04 left in the game. Vosmeyer, a couple of steps in, close to the arc. Real close to the arc. Right side, Pisano winds, fires, middle of the floor. Just wide to the left side. Ball loose and Doknuski finally falls on it. Yara was sitting there looking at it for a while like he wasn't sure what to do. Kia heads the ball at the red line. It goes back to Swanner ahead to Vosmeyer. Minute 22 in the penalty, 4.41 in the game. Here comes Vosmeyer. Right side, Pisano. Pisano in the corner. Now Vosmeyer over to Schlothauer. He winds, he fires out of play. Goal kick for Memphis with 4.31 left in the game and a minute 11 left in the penalty. 
431 left in regulation time. Game is tied 3-3. We've had no scoring in the fourth quarter so far. Invaders with a minute 11 of man advantage. Memphis will chew into that with his goal kick. Out at the red line to Pendleton, and the ball intercepted by Vossmeyer to Schlotthauer. Back to Vossmeyer, and they give and go. Left side around one. He'll play, he'll play good steal by Pesnecker, and he dumps it out to midfield. Pisano's got it with 57 seconds left in the penalty. Oscar back in the Memphis zone. He blows around Susevich. He fires. It's blocked up in the air by Beck. It stays in play. Bounces right in the goal area, and Pendleton clears it out to midfield. And Vossmeyer hits the ball back in the goal area. And Swanner caught that, and they say he's not allowed to do that. So Memphis will get to put it in play in front of the arc in the Canton zone, shorthanded. 4.02 left in the game with 42 seconds left in the penalty. And they'll just dump it back at their own end to Dachniewski and chew up some penalty time. His pass is intercepted by Pisano. 34 in the penalty, Pisano in the Memphis zone. He winds, he fires, save Dachniewski, and that was a good one. Kia dumps it back out to Schlotthauer on the point, 25 in the penalty. Right side to Pisano, he fires, that's blocked in the corner by Susevich, and Beck clears out to midfield with 18 seconds in the penalty. Vosmeyer across the red line, 333 left in the game. Right side, Pisano, he shoots through the middle, Kia couldn't get the rebound. And it's cleared out again with six seconds, and that'll get about kill the penalty. Swanner inside his red line, two seconds, one. The penalty's over, 3.20 left in the game. We're still tied 3-3. Here's Pisano with a shot that's blocked by Susevich. And Johnson comes away with it for Memphis. Johnson, middle of the floor, ball knocked away by Walt Schlotthau. And the invaders control. Bosmeyer ahead to Pisano. Pisano working on Yepes up against the sideboards in the corner. Double teamed, he gets out of it. Through the middle, lost the ball behind him, and Susevich comes the other way. 2.56 left in regulation. Susevich pushes it up the right side. Johnson down the left for Yepes. Yepes off the boards. Susevich had it knocked away by Kia. Tima and Susevich fight for it. Kia to help out, and it's controlled by Swanner. Jamie with a long lead ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski with Pesnecker off the boards. Trying to spin to the middle. He does. He shoots. He hit the post. Rebound knocked out into the corner. 2.30 left in the game. Rudy double teamed, and he's hauled down, and the holding call goes against Memphis. 2.28 to go. 3-3. The game is tied. Kick in from the right corner for Canton. Trigger man is Kondrich. Outside, Paxos fires, and it's knocked away. And it clears out, and Tima gets over the head of Johnson to take that away. Timmy trying to get inside Albuquerque, pushed by Albuquerque. And that is another foul on Memphis. Eight now in the period on them. 2-18 to play in the game. Canton to put it in play from the right corner again. We're still tied 3-3. Louisville led Chicago 6-1. Here's Condrich, middle of the floor. Condrich fires wide and out of play. So it's a goal kick for Memphis with 2.14 left to play in regulation time. And we're tied at 3-3. Invaders led 2-0 at the half. Canton scored one goal in each of the first three periods. Memphis got all three of theirs in the third. This has been a scoreless fourth quarter so far. Each team has killed off a penalty in this period. Yepes with the ball outside the box for Memphis. Frick cautiously steps up on him. He rolls it back to Dachniewski. Ahead Yepes outside the red line. 2.05 in the game. Yepes ahead Johnson trying to get inside Paxos. Does. Ball loose out front. Swept out. Albuquerque couldn't get it. Yepes with a shot. No. Rebound comes out to Albuquerque. Condrich fights with him. And Condrich gets whistled on the push. And that's five on Canton, so they've got to watch it. The Invaders do not want to commit the sixth foul and go shorthanded with a minute 53 left in the game. Carbignani to put it in play for Memphis, and he put it out of play, but that was blocked by Condrich. So Memphis will keep it. They'll put it in a little closer now down in the left corner. Game one of the series, game two, Friday night, 8.05. Game three, if necessary, Saturday night, 
All of them here at the Civic Center. Carbignani, wall feed, picked up and controlled by Swanner. Jamie, long lead for Kramer, got behind Yepes. And Yepes tucks him down from behind, and of course there's no call, and here we go to Daknuski. Long lead for Albuquerque, hits him in the hand, again no call. And he drops it back to the middle of the floor. This is Wicker, a minute 31 left in the game. Johnson had it knocked away, he shoots, and oh, what a play by Condridge to knock that away. Paxos clears to midfield. Minute 22 left in regulation, and it bounces off Yepes out of play, and Canton will put it in play from the right side of the floor. Art Kramer out there with Steve Frick, Tom Condridge, Mike Paxos, and Walt Schlothauer. And for Memphis, you've got Willen, Pendleton, Vasquez, Hantak, and Pesnecker. They just put a fresh line out on the field. 121 left in regulation. We're tied at 3-3. Kondrich taps it back to Paxos. In the air for Kramer. Tried to get in the middle for Frick. It was knocked away by Willen. Schlothauer tried to deflect, but it's controlled by Vasquez. Up the floor for Willen. Swanner out of the net. Took it away. Swanner took it away again from Vasquez. Here we come on the counter. It is Schlothauer down the left side. Around one. He shoots. It's blocked by Hantak with a minute one to go. Schlothauer slides, and the trip call goes against Hantak. 59 seconds left in the game. Nine fouls on Memphis in the period. Three more that get another penalty, but only 59 seconds. Paxos with a shot wide. Rebound comes out behind Kramer. He hustles back and dumps it over to Schlothauer. Schlothauer looking up the field, clears it ahead for Frick in the corner. Frick trying to get inside. Willen does. He's hauled down by Willen. Ball squirts loose out of the box, and here comes Memphis. 41 seconds left in the game. Vasquez in the Canton zone wants Hantak. Hantak shot, no. And Timo gets the rebound off his chest to Swanner. Long lead for Frick, 32 in regulation. Frick at the red line, sliding play by Pendleton to knock it away, but it's taken back by Tima for the Invaders. Up the right side for Condrich. Condrich on Willen for Frick. Frick looks inside. He fakes, he shoots. It's blocked by Pendleton. Out of play with 18 seconds left in regulation. Invaders will put it in play. Touch line left side of the Memphis defensive zone. Couple of fresh bodies coming in. Bossmeyer's in, Pisano's in. Paxos and Condrich will sit down. Kramer, Frick, Bossmeyer, Pisano, and Tima. One more second to ticked off, 17 in the game. Pisano centers, Kramer put it out of, out of play. Goal kick Memphis with 16 seconds left in the game. In regulation time. We're tied at 3-3. We are 16 seconds away from overtime. Here's Pendleton back in the goal box. Doc Newski, 11 seconds to go. Long lead, headed back by Vossmeyer, taken by Frick, 9 seconds. Frick, ball knocked away from behind, and a foul, 10th one, is against Pesnecker. Six seconds left in the game. They'll put it in play outside the red line, six seconds before we would head into overtime. Bossmeyer ahead for Katima. His shot, no. Rebound knocked out front, and we're going to overtime. No scoring in the fourth quarter, and at the end of regulation time, the Canton Invaders three, the Memphis Storm three. We come back after to our left. The coin toss for the start of overtime was won by the Invaders. And Oscar Pisano says, we want the ball. So Canton will control the kickoff to start the first overtime period. Tied up at 3-3 at the end of regulation. Swanner's ready. Doc Newski's ready. It's Pikasinski, Rudy, Kia, Pisano, Tima, and Vosmeyer for Canton. Johnson, Albuquerque, Carbignani, Yepes, and Wicker for Memphis. Ball knocked away by Yepes and taken by Johnson. Johnson down in the Canton end. Wines fires. No rebound. Knocked away. Vosmeyer. Uh, headed comes to Rudy Pikasinski trying to get around Carbignani. Stops, spins, dishes back in the Canton zone on the left side of the floor to Tima. Tima 
Ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski working on Carbignani. Dumps it back to Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer inside Albuquerque. Ahead to Pikasinski. Rudy back to the net in the left corner on Yepes. Rudy double teamed by Carbignani. Dumps it outside to Vosmeyer. Left side at midfield. In the circle it comes to Tima. We played 40 seconds of OT. Tima ball blocked by Johnson. And Johnson backs away from Kia and clears it over on the left side to Tony Wicker. Wicker dumps it back in the goal box. Doc Newski. Long lead ahead for Albuquerque. Off his chest. Sweeps it to the middle of the floor. Knocked away by Vosmeyer. Pikasinski heads it inside. Yep has lost his balance. Yep has his called for the foul as he was up over the back of Rudy. And that's the first foul of the period on either team. Bossmeyer to put it in play for Canton. 14.03 to go in overtime number one. Bossmeyer ahead to Kia. Back to Tima. Tima for Pikasinski. Rudy had trouble, got out of a crowd there, and is taken away by Albuquerque. Ahead to Johnson. Pisano backpedaling up the left side on defense. Johnson down in the Canton zone, cuts to the middle of the floor, drops it off on the right point. Carbignani passed in the corner, knocked away by Vosmeyer. Carbignani got it back, shot blocked by Pikasinski. Into the middle, Albuquerque. Albuquerque down in the corner, and he goes down, and the foul's going to go against Rudy, and that evens him up at one apiece. 13-38 left in the first overtime. First goal wins it. And it'll be Carbignani to trigger it in for Memphis. Carbignani outside, shot, hit the crossbar off the foot of Ben, of uh, Wicker. Back to Carbignani through the middle, and that's intercepted by Swanner. Swanner. Long lead, and it's out of play into the seats. He wanted Rudy on the right side, and Memphis will get it back. We played a minute 37 of overtime. 3-3, first goal wins it. Sudden death overtime period. Game one of the AISA semifinals. It's best two out of three. Second game Friday night, 8.05 here at the Civic Center. Kramer, Frick, Kondrich, Schlothauer, and Paxos for Canton. Hantak, Vasquez, Pesnecker, Willen, and Pendleton for Memphis. They dump it long. Hantak out front trying to get room, double teamed. Looking for some place to work to the middle. Swanner dives on the loose ball. Jamie long lead for Frick. They got a two on one if they hurry. Pendleton got back though. Frick with a move around him to the middle. He looks for some help and now has to back it up to Condrich on the left point. Tomo a couple of steps in. Pass deflected. Schlothauer gets it back on the right side. And Paxos has it at midfield. Now on the left it comes to Condrich. Condrich for Kramer. Back outside to Tomo. Condrich moves right to left to right. Ball deflected. Kramer couldn't get to it. And Doc Newski controls out front. Doc Newski, long lead. Headed away from Hantak by Paxos. But Vasquez comes up with it for Memphis. Vasquez shoots wide. And Paxos clears it out. Steve Frick with it. Frick with a move around Pendleton. Frick blows around him, trying to get inside. Got the ball too far in front of him, and Doc Newski covered it up in the goal box. Long lead, Hantak at the other end for Memphis. Hantak working on Paxos. Double team, ball deflected once, twice. He shoots, it's blocked by Paxos. And Paxos blows around two defenders. Here they come, three on two. Paxos down the middle. He shoots, no, rebound came out behind Kramer. And Vasquez got it back. Artie had an empty net, but the ball came out where he wasn't. Nothing he could do about it. Long lead, Doc Newski, headed back by Hantak. Hantak was standing over the three lines when he did that, but they didn't call it. 11.56 left in overtime number one. Carbignani, right side of the floor for Memphis. Up to midfield, Kramer with him, ahead to Hantak, he'll pass. Carbignani dumps it away from Frick and takes it back at midfield, and now Willen in front of the Memphis red line. Left side for Carbignani. Lead ball for Hantak. Hantak had it knocked away by Paxos and taken by Kondrich, and then it's covered up by Swanner. Jamie grabs it, holds on. Lead ball, Steve Frick. Frick working against Willen, lost his balance, gets up, controls the ball over to Pisano. Oscar up the right side in the Memphis zone. He moves down to the corner. Ball knocked away by Yepes. Oscar gets it back, trying to get inside, and the foul on Yepes is Pisano since crawling. And that's the second one on Memphis. 11-18 to play in overtime number one. It'll be a corner kick from the right side for the Invaders. Tima will put it in play for Canton. Timmy looks the situation over outside to Vosmeyer. He winds, he fires. It's blocked by Carbignani. Albuquerque sends it ahead. Carbignani dumps it out to midfield. Pisano will chase that down in the Canton end. Albuquerque comes out on him. Oscar sweeps it on the left side to Vosmeyer at midfield. 
And we have played four minutes of overtime. Ahead to Rudy Pikasinski. Yep, has got inside. Rudy got inside again. They both go down. Foul on Pikasinski. Team fouls even at two apiece. 10.57 to play. In the overtime, Yepes dumps it in the goal box. Doc Newski. Outlet comes to Wicker, and now it's Carbignani. Ahead, and the ball knocked away. Steve Maurer into the game for the first time for Canton. Carbignani has it back in the Memphis zone, dumps it in the goal box for Doc Newski. Pumps once, long lead. Johnson heads it up in the air. It goes to the right side, stays in play off the top of the glass. Albuquerque there. Rudy Pikasinski on him, and they drop it back to Yepes, and now it's Carbignani. Carbignani. Sends it long. Johnson in the corner on Tima. Tima got a piece of that and almost took the referee's head off. And there's the feed in the middle. Albuquerque over to Yepes. And back outside Carbignani. The shot wide into the corner. Yepes off his chest. He fights with Pisano for it. Knocked outside at the red line. Carbignani with a shot blocked by Tima. Bosmeyer had it knocked away. And Swanner controls. And he's knocked down by Tony Johnson. And that should be... Well, Jamie controls. Lead ball around Yep has a head for Steve Maurer. Maurer, the big man, up the left side of the floor. Maurer seeing his first shift tonight. Yep has knocked the ball away and comes away with it for Memphis. Tima and Pisano back on D. They dump the left side. Swanner out of the net. Better get there first to knock it away from Albuquerque. And Swanner collides with Albuquerque and gets the foul. Third one on the Invaders. Albuquerque outside. Carbignani had the ball knocked away from behind by Pikasinski. Johnson with a sliding play, but Maurer ends up with it anyway for Canton. Lead ball got around the man. Here's Vossmeyer with Rudy, two on one. He shoots, he scores! <laughs> the Invaders win it in overtime! Bob Vossmeyer! Five minutes and 31 seconds into overtime. The Invaders win game one on the Bob Bosmeyer goal. How about that? Steve Maurer, who had just come into the game, gets the assist. The Invaders win it four to three. They lead the series one game to none. We'll be back to wrap it up in 60 seconds.